Today's episode, it's all about Big Sky Brewing Company in Montana. Salud, guys! Hi, guys! Welcome back! So tonight's episode, it's all about Big Sky Brewing Company in Montana. They are located in Missoula and they are one of the biggest, the biggest brewing company in Montana. They have actually a tap room and guess what? A very interesting fact that the same owners have been operating this brewery for the last 23 years. That is super cool. So let's go ahead and get to the drinking guys. Let's do this. I'm gonna start with a um, shake a day IPA right there. You guys can see it, shake a day IPA. Look at the graphics, I love it. And you guys might wonder why the name shake a day. Well, they name this IPA after a game, um, a pastime game that they usually play in Montana. It's very popular in Montana. And it's, um, they use dice as you can see, look at it. And it's very popular and that's why they call it the shake a day IPA. This particular IPA, it's 6.2, guys. So um, I'm very excited to try it. I love, I love, I love the graphics. Look at the colors, very bright colors. Um, very, very, very nice graphics. So let's see. I already got that, that wonderful IPA aroma, guys. So I'm excited. Let's see, let's see. Okay. I'm just gonna start a little bit, okay? Because we got what? One, two, three, four, five. Five, okay? So do not leave me. It's gonna be a little bit of a, a long episode for today, but stick with me, okay? Do not abandon me. Okay, let's do this. Look at the color, guys. You can see an APA, a little bit on the hazy side. It has a nice amount of carbonation. You can see a nice um, uh, head right there. A little bit on the hazy. Um, side like i like i mentioned oh it is it has a very nice aroma guys very inviting very inviting it's not a strong um aroma mm, it, it's actually like very bright it just grabs you right there okay so let's let's go ahead and drink it cheers salud This is a really, really, really nice IPA, guys. It's so smooth. No bitterness, no nothing. Guys, this is really, really, really good beer. So one of the, the brewery, they actually, they have the tap room. Um, my husband ended up going with his friends. That's how he ended up getting all of these beers for me. I wanted to thank to the host of the trip, one of my friend, my my husband's really, really good friend, and they've been friends for a long time. Um, he is um, uh, 406 Gun Nut. Thank you so much for hosting. Thank you. We love you very much. Oh my gosh, I'm having some technical difficulties over here, guys. I feel like something is on my eyeball. So let's keep on drinking. You guys have to visit Missoula. You have to and go to this tap room it's so nice um something that really really after you know doing the research and reading into this particular brewery they really touched my heart it's the fact that um the owners have built an amphitheater and uh, they utilize this amphitheater to actually uh, hold you know concerts and charity just an effort to give something to the community so i love that about about you know the the owners so salute guys Hi guys, let's continue to the, with the drinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna jump to the summer honey seasonal ale. This is a season, season uh, beer. This particular brewery, they have um, a lot of seasonal beer and a whole year round beer. So this is one of them and it's particularly designed for summer okay so let's see so excited this is only this um the abv is only five percent so you guys are going to be good it's perfect for summer you're not going to get dehydrated so keep on drinking keep on drinking keep on drinking okay mm, smells good so there you go look at how that beautiful color so nice so 
vibrant. You know, look at that. Look at that. Ready to go. Nice head. Um, one. Mm. It has a little. It's, it, it has an L. You know, um, aroma. It's not really strong. It's very smooth. Let's see. Um, before I forget my um, what I wanted to say, something very very um, influential that this particular brewery um, accomplished was the fact that they helped lobby in uh, Montana for breweries to be able to um, produce uh, sixty thousand um, uh, barrels of, of of beer. So that's really really amazing it's a great contribution to the whole montana and to us beer lovers so thank you big, big sky brewery we love you for that so cheers mm, this is really really nice guys it has a very 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 nice aroma very smooth this i'm surprised the second beer these beers are very smooth. You definitely can um, taste the honey. The honey, it's definitely present. It is not overwhelming. It's not overly sweet, but it's nice. It just leaves a nice sense, a nice smell in your palate, almost like comforting. I really like it. It's so different. The blends that they have in there, it's, it's really nice. Um, this beer was made with some um, European hops but that blend the combination of the european blend uh hops sorry and the honey together it's just perfect i can still taste um the honey in there but it's not overwhelming so good job guys big uh sky brewing company you guys have me like speechless this is really really nice salute okay guys let's move on to the second ipa for today's episode so excited so excited so far this big sky brewing company has not let me down you guys have me grabbed already like everything you guys got my heart already i i i cannot expect anything less so far so let's go with big sky IPA look at the can I love the cans they're so look at look at look at the back the majority of them on the back they have this the graphics are so nice they are so bright they just grab you like come on have me drink me so this one once again is a 6.2 um, ABV and once again, it's from Big Sky Brewing Company, guys. Please, you have to go to Montana, Missoula, and go ahead and go to their tap room. This company, this brewing company, it's amazing. So highly recommend it. Oh, look at the color, guys. Look at the color. I'm loving it. Look at the color. Very nice color color that amber color that it has it's like almost a rich beer um love it already mm, the ipa pre uh, the hops are definitely present so i'm excited already definitely present this is not like the other one the um shake a day it was that one was more like in the hazy side this one is more like in the amber side so let's see very excited already salute guys I drink that one with mm, this is really good definitely not as the other one this one even though they have the same AV ABV um, this beer right here definitely you can the hops are more present so you do have more of the bitterness I will highly recommend for people who are more you know like the IPA lovers you will love this okay this is a perfect IPA the other one is more like on the for the beginners, you know how I always call, if you are introducing somebody to the IPA world, you might wanna go easy, and this is the perfect choice. I love this beer. It has, the hops are definitely present. The bitterness is there, but it's not overwhelming. So, and it's full of flavor. As I'm speaking, I still have all of these flavors in there, the hops and all of these different blends. Um, there is no tropical blends, no tropical fruits in there. I, I, I can't sense them, but definitely the hops are there and it's just really, really, really nice beer.
salud. Let's continue, guys. We are almost done. Do not leave me, okay? Because remember, at the end, it's Divas ranking. Don't forget, please, guys, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And share the news. Share the news with all of our beer lovers, your beer lovers, your friends, your colleagues, anybody, please share the video and make sure they subscribe to my channel. And leave me some comments. I need, I need new ideas, guys. Don't leave me hanging over here. I need you, okay? Yes, I need you. So please leave me some comments, keep on coming back, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's go on to, look at this one, Moose Drool. Look at that, look at that can, guys. I love it, this is a green one. We make water fun, I love that. This brewery, Big Sky Brewing Company from Montana, uh, Missoula, Montana, you guys, are amazing i wish i can go there i have to go there i'm gonna have to go there because your beer is so amazing i love the graphics i love the beer so far and look at this the moose is actually drooling as you guys know uh in montana there is like moose everywhere right everywhere so i love the fact that they are just so homey you know all of their graphics all of their beer is based on a little fact of, of Montana, of Missoula, you know, like their games and their animals and everything. So that is very amazing. I love that you guys are making your state proud and bringing it out and showing it to the world, to us, you know, over here on the West Coast. We didn't know any of this and hopefully the video gets shared and it's gonna go all over the world, okay? So let's talking and more drinking, guys. Let's go. So this one is, a brown ale so i'm excited because you know i like i like brown i like some color in my life so whenever i i see a nice rich color i get excited um so this particular ooh, look at the color guys it is definitely a brown ale this is only a five percent abv and look at that brown ale definitely you can sense already i can sense already the presence of coffee so it does have coffee a little bit of cocoa so we'll see yeah it's very nice it's different it's a brown ale very different i i i almost have to say that i don't think i had a brown ale before you know i had the blonde ales the regular ales but not a brown ale so let's see what this brown ale is all about salute guys Okay, so yes, 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 yes. My senses were right. Definitely, the presence, it does have coffee. It does have coffee, it does have cocoa, but guys, it's so amazingly balanced. That blend, it's amazing. It is not, none of those, none of those um, ingredients are overly, are taking over the other. Okay, so it's a perfect balance perfect blend you guys did an amazing job once again um i thought it was going to be bitter because of the coffee you know um but it, it's not really it is so smooth it is so pleasant in your palate i can still um taste the the coffee and a little bit of the cocoa i mean it's amazing you it's really good you guys have to try this Believe me, this is a really, really, really nice brown ale. Salud. Let's move on to our last beer, guys. Let's go. Look at this one. This is um, a blonde ale. And this one is 5% ABV. So this particular beer, guys, um, look at the can. Look at how nice the cans are. It's just like Montana everywhere. Love it. Look at the graphics. It's so amazing. This particular beer is a blonde ale and it's only available uh, on tap and it's seasonal also. So be um, aware of that, that it might not be, when you guys go, it might not be there, but thank God I got a chance to try it this time. Big Sky 
Blonde Ale, 5% ABV. Um, oh, there it goes. Yay, see, a little bit messy. That's how excited I get, right? So this is um, seasonal only on tap. This Blonde Ale is on tap only, guys. Making a mess out of it, all of that. Look at that, I love that. Very summery, a very, very, very nice amount of carbonation. Look at the head, the color, very crisp, very inviting. Um, the L, it's definitely present, you know? Some of the amazingness that Big Sky Brewing Company has done. You guys are amazing, you guys are amazing. This brewing company, guys, have has grown so much that they have like around 45 people like working full time for them. Isn't that am amazing? And all of these 45 people are doing a great job. You guys are like the little uh, elves for brewing, right? Love you guys. Salud. Oh, this is nice. This is a nice blonde ale. This is very nice so smooth perfect for summer it is very smooth on your palate there is no after aftertaste you can you can sense the lightness of it you know perfect to share by the pool anywhere guys this is really 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 nice it's a very nice ale highly recommend and once again i cannot say it again you guys are amazing thank you Welcome to Divas Ranking, guys. We did it. You guys are stuck with me. And thank you so much for your support, your love, and for tasting this wonderful beer with me. I'm so honored. Thank you. Thank you so much. Big Sky Brewing Company. Thank you for your amazingness. I am very, very, very pleased with you guys' beer. It's amazing. Every single one of them. But as you guys know, I have to rank my beer, right? And number one will be, where are you? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's going to be the Big Sky IPA. The Big Sky IPA, I'm going to give it to the Big Sky IPA because as you guys know, I love my IPAs. Um, I really like the color on this one. Um, it was... Um, very pleasant to my palate. The hops were present. It was a little bit stronger. I like when there is a lot of flavor in the beer. And that's what this particular beer gave me. The can, it's amazing. Hold my beer and watch this in the back. I forgot to show that to you guys. Overall, love this beer. Um, my second choice, of course, is going to be the other IPA. Where are you? No, that's not it. It's the Shake a Day IPA right here. Really, 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 really like it. Um, this one doesn't have a say in the back, but you can see the game, the Shake a Day game that they play in Montana. Really like it because it's an IPA, first of all. And not only that, but it's the other type of IPA, you know, like on the hazy side. And it wasn't as strong, it was so smooth. It was perfect for summer, okay? It was a very nice aroma, very smooth. The presence of the hops were not as strong as the other one, so it's perfect for everybody, even in summertime, okay? So my third one is gonna have to be the honey, the summer honey. I think I didn't show you guys the actual can, Look at this, look at the bear right there. Um, loaded for beer, look at that, look at that thing. I love you guys' um, graphics, the cans are amazing. I really like this beer because um, I it, I wasn't even expecting this, the, the, the flavor, the, the honey stay present. Even until I finished, I was finished drinking it and I was speaking to you guys and it was just there. It was just so nice and smooth and it was not sweet. You know when the sweetness take over the beer, it's just kind of like a weird flavor. It was just just the presence of the of the nice honey with no, with, with no sweetness I ruined my beer. It was just really, really nice, very refreshing, very summery. Um, my fourth choice, it's going to be 
um, the the Big Sky Brewing, uh, the Big sorry, the Big Sky Blonde Ale. Um, I really like this beer. Um, very smooth on the palate, very happy, very inviting. The only bad thing is that it's only seasonal and it's only available at the actual tap room. So it, you guys don't really have the choice to actually you know, acquiring it from everywhere, everywhere else, but you have to go there. And if you happen to go there, and if it was the, the season that they did not make it, so you out of luck, but very nice beer. Very, very, very nice. And the last one is going to be the Moose Drool, the brown ale. I really love the color. Um, it's, um, it is a beer, it, it's a really good beer. I was surprised about this beer because usually the stouts are kind to, are kind of strong for me. Um, usually um, they, the, the coffee overtakes the whole thing. And on the case of this particular beer, the brown ale, it was the perfect balance. So it was just nice to drink it. It was nice, it was still refreshing. It was not like bitter, like, oh my gosh, I don't want this. You know, it was just nice overall. So uh, Big Sky Brewing Company, you guys overall did a, an amazing job. I love you guys' beer. Please, um, guys, give them, pay them a visit. It, it's, it's really nice. I've, I've never been there, but this is amazing. This, this beer are really tasty. Um, don't forget guys to share the video please give me some thumbs up okay give me some thumbs up and please let everyone know that we are doing serious tasting here see you guys in the next episode